My name is Dave Help. I've come here because I'm seeing some things that I don't like happening here at Norton Schools. It's called Contract Gate. It's what this school board did to get contracts approved up to a year and a half early. The next setting board should make those decisions, not this board. How they did it? They had Mr. Dunn come up and make the statement that the state told him to offer these contracts early. When I contacted the state, they said this is a local control state. All those decisions are made here. That's false. Mrs. Hagenbush, her part in this was to not call time on Mrs. Jeffries in the March meeting. She got seven minutes and thirty, seven and a half minutes plus. Mrs. Bennett allowed the meeting to be taken over by the teachers union. When asked to gavel the meeting down, she shrugged her shoulders and said, oh well. Would not let board members, equal board members speak for her, or speak for the school system. The teachers filled the meeting, they booed the members, they wouldn't let Mr. Knight or Mr. Sam speak. They talk on one side here that they're professionals. I don't see booing and hissing and stopping the meeting from being very professional at all. Mrs. Jeffries. Excuse me, Mr. Hyde. You need to keep your comments generic. Okay. A teacher came in. Which that would include removing that reference. A teacher came in. She said she was a union rep. That was false. She said she represented administrators. Administrators are non-union. That was false. She said she'd do anything in her power to save the schools. I took that as a threat. Been around Norton long enough to know that there's been nails thrown in parking lots and windows broken out. Anything in her power. Uh, pretty, pretty strong words. I also hear that Mr. Knight and uh, Mr. Sams are acting uh, not in the best interest of the school. People, financial responsibility is in our best interest. I'd like to know why Mr. Sams and Mr. Knight have to explain all their no votes, but Bennett, Santelli, and Webble do not have to. I'd like to explain how a board works. Mrs. Uh, your school teacher doesn't seem to know. You have five people up here. If you vote five and all every time, somebody's not doing their job and they're not thinking. One of the greatest generals out, George Patton, said if we are, I want to make sure I get this right. If we all think alike, some are not thinking. He helped us win a war. We don't speak German. Uh, they say there are no raises in the contracts. There are. That was false. Told only staff members, current staff members, can make the transition. It is the teachers that do the teaching. You can hold a class in a tent, in a motel room, anywhere. This, this is false again. Contract gate was to secure contracts when the school was forecast to be out of money. At the March meeting, they said 1.5 1 1 years to be in financial emergency. Now I hear that it's five to six years. Which is it? Were you all acting like you did, passing this contract gate? Mr. Santelli, Mrs. Bennett, Mrs. Webble, Mrs. Hagenbush, Mr. Dunn. I've lost faith in you. I can't believe what's being said up here. I'm asking you all to resign. Anybody who wants questions answered about this, I have the proof. I will be glad to show you. The least that I want from any elected official is the truth. I'm not getting it. Neither are the Norton taxpayers. Thank you. Thank you. My comments will be brief. Second Corinthians chapter 8 essentially asks the question, which your motivation? I can't answer for any person in this room except myself, but I get my motivation from 2 Corinthians chapter 6, which deals with authenticity and openness. I have no hidden agenda. Every time that I have spoken publicly or have been printed in the newspaper, I always stick to the facts. I speak the truth. You may not agree with them, I mean, as the gentleman that just spoke, 
we don't always agree. I don't always agree with my husband. That's just the facts of life. But I always stick to things that I know. Seriously, this public spectacle has to stop. If it continues, it is my belief that Norton City Schools will be perceived as a joke by surrounding communities. And that would be tragic. Since 2004, we have been rated excellent by the state of Ohio until its conclusion in 2012. For the last three years, when the state rating has changed, we still have received an A in state standards met. Please, I ask you, if you have disagreements, we all do, please settle them in venues that are not public. If you have a financial question, I know that Mrs. Hagenbush is more than willing to sit down with you, as she did with me a few weeks ago when I presented some financial information. If you have questions about policy, I know that any board member or Mr. Dunn would be willing to sit down. At this time, some of you probably asking yourself the question, are you stupid, Mrs. Jeffries? You started this when you spoke. That's true. I started this, and I agreed to it. I started this when I spoke at the May 16th meeting. And for that, I'm sorry. I did what I thought was in the best interest of the schools. I was not acting as a representative, as a public uh, uh, elected office in the organization. I was speaking for the group because they felt concerned. So if you have anger, if you have venom, please turn it toward me. I take full responsibility. Please do not continue to malign the board members. Think of the children. What is this going to do to our children? Thank you.